We're good? Yeah. Okay, good start. All right, so today we're going to talk about a push-up. Um, one of my favorite movements. I put it in a lot of different programs. Um, unfortunately, it's one of those movements that kind of gets a bad vibe from time to time because it's used as you know, sort of like a punishment as you're growing up. And so people don't give it the respect and due diligence that it deserves. So today, just so I can sleep better at night, we're going to go over how to do a push-up properly. All right, my good friend Coach Burnham here is going to go through and kind of demo it. I'll talk him through it, and hopefully you guys can kind of take this and take it back to your push-up. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and have him get in a push-up position so we can go over some of the key points we want to address. All right, okay, so as you can see here, we'll start from this way and work our way down. Right, he has his chin back, so his head's in a neutral position. Hands are underneath his shoulders. Core is tight and butt is squeezed. We have a nice neutral pelvis here and low back. And then his feet are together, okay? I'm okay if your feet are going to be just a hair bit wider. That doesn't bother me. We don't want them real wide, but, you know, together, a little bit wider is fine. Okay? And so what we're going to do, you go ahead and stand up. So the deal with the push-up is, the easiest way to think about it is, it's like a moving plank, right? So you got to make sure you get into a neutral position, right? Chin pack, core squeeze tight, butt squeeze tight, so we hold all this stable and have those feet in a good position. And then we're going to actually try and pull ourselves down and press up and maintain that posture throughout the entire motion. So we're going to go ahead and have him try and do that just so we can see how it works. Right? So it's just a moving plank. Right? So he gets everything tight. He's going to pull himself down and he's going to drive up. Right? Go ahead and press the So that was good. Yeah. Okay? So the good thing that he does that a lot of people don't do, they get in that good position and then when they go to do the push-up, as soon as they initiate some arm movement, some scapular movement, they automatically lose this, right? They'll lose that lumbar, and they'll do something along those lines because they're not strong enough, or they don't know they should be holding that position tight. Another thing they'll do, you can poke your head forward as you do this one, or yeah, they'll throw their head back as they do push-ups, or they'll drop their head forward and take their forehead to the ground, right? Another big thing that we see is I know, like an elbow flare, and people go way out wide. They're not strong enough like this. I honestly don't know how people do that because it's, it's kind of painful to be honest. That sucks. Yeah, go ahead and rest real fast, right? So when we do the push-up, our elbow angle is going to be like kind of in a sweet spot in the middle, right? So we're not going to be flared way up high. We're also not going to be tucked right in next to our body. Think like a 45-degree angle or enough space or if I stood over you, I could kind of slide my fist in and out. Another key point here is he actively pulls himself down to the bottom position. Now, a lot of times in a push-up, people are lazy and they just think about dropping down and then pressing out. He engages his upper back and physically pulls himself down to try and touch, touch his chest and nose at the same time, which helps everything stay together and creates tension throughout the system. Okay, can you come get a top view of this? Okay, this may be hard to see on the video camera, but the other nice thing you see here, like right here, is the borders, medial borders of his scapula. Right, so as he goes down, go down to the bottom position, you see how his scapula is retracting and press up, and then they go back out. Okay, another mistake that a lot of people make as they're doing the push-up, they pin their scapulas and they don't get any scapular movement. Go ahead and rest. Okay, so when we bench press and do things along those lines, more of an open chain movement, we are going to want those scaps pinched down and back hard to help stabilize that shoulder as we press. The push-up, on the other hand, is a closed chain movement, which means we can use the entire chain to make things happen. Right, so the best part about the push-up is it teaches you to hold that stable core plank position, and it teaches proper scapular movement as we get kind of you know, a retraction as we go down and then protraction as we come out of the hole. A good cue to think of as you're pressing out of the bottom is think about pressing the ground away from you, and that's really going to force you to kind of get some protraction out of those scapulas as you're coming out of the bottom. You know, hopefully this has helped. Um, I like throwing in push-ups. If push-ups are too easy for you, there's a lot of variations you can do. You do like one leg push-ups, throw a band around your back, um, but get more aggressive with them, throw push-ups in more often. I think you'll see it translates and helps with other pressing variations because of the impact it can have on proper scapular movement based on being able to maintain a proper neutral core position. Um, thanks guys, have fun.